from Martha Teichner this morning, a story that's truly for the birds. This thing weighs two tons. Artists confound me sometimes. It's a birdhouse exhibit. Is it a birdhouse? Well, maybe that's the point of art. You could be confused making your way around the Brooklyn Botanic Garden trying to answer that question, especially if you happen to be a bird. The artist who did this before he became an artist full time, he ran a city food cart. That birdhouse is made of pieces of his cart. There are 33 of these statement birdhouses. They're part of an exhibit called For the Birds, but it's probably more accurate to say it's for humans on behalf of the birds. It's got feet. It does. <laughs> this, by Brooklyn artist Julie Pepito, is called United Birds of America. There's five American birds that this bird condo uh, houses. This is my version of an American uh, goldfinch. There's also an American robin, which is the big bird up here. The American kestrel, barn owl, and red start are here too. The idea is that if we can get the birds together, then maybe we can get together to help save them. A Cornell Lab of Ornithology study found that between 1970 and 2017, North America lost 2.9 billion birds. By now, it's estimated that number is well over 3 billion, gone in just over 50 years. Birds we know and maybe take for granted, dramatically depleted. Among the reasons, climate change, loss of habitat, cats. In the middle of crowded Brooklyn, the Botanic Garden is a 52-acre oasis. Just listen. You can hear the birds singing. Until a plane or siren drowns them out. And you press. Next to each birdhouse, there's a sign with a QR code. Scan it and your phone will play a piece of music. For the Birds is about more than birdhouses. Wow, you can hear the birds in it. Yeah, and I love the fact that the designers were able to pick their own pieces of music. Randall Poster made For the Birds happen. Poster is a music supervisor, someone who coordinates all the music for movies and TV shows. With each of the LPs, we invited different artists to create unique art. Poster lined up big name musicians, actors, artists, and writers to create original bird-themed material for a limited edition 20 LP boxed set. The collection is also being released for streaming. Proceeds go to the Audubon Society for bird conservation. Among the 250 contributors, cellist Yo-Yo Ma, who had himself recorded in the woods, serenading the birds. Elvis Costello, rocking out. From composer and music producer Alex Summers, something moodier. Randall got field recordings of various species of birds. I just wanted the oldest recording they had. So I made a piece of music that ended up being titled after the day the recording came from. May 18th, 1929, lost, he called it. On a balmy night this summer, 1,500 people spread themselves out on the lawn at the Brooklyn Botanic Garden to immerse themselves in what Summers calls a sound bath. There they were, those birds recorded more than 90 years ago, flying through a new age. Part of the point of For the Birds 
is to get people to tune out the noise so for once they can actually hear this pure, beautiful plea for help. <laughs> 